Hey, Chad Carter here with ChadCarter.net, LornHollins.com. And uh, this week, I'm going to answer a question that I received and um, at my, in my membership site that I have over at LornHollins.com. Uh, we have a live Q&A every month. Uh, but this particular question is something I think would help uh, all the community. And it's, it's something that is still specific to the Hollins in regards to using the input manager. So what we have here and the scene that you're seeing is I just did a brand new scene. I deleted the normal camera. I brought in the hollow toolkit in the unit test. And if you're not sure how to do that, uh, then check out my video back in uh, January of 2017 where I did a uh, holographic ball tutorial. And it's like a four-part uh, series. And the very first part is all about bringing in the hollow toolkit and getting things set up. So uh, regardless, in the hollow toolkit, there is these prefabs you can grab, the hollow lens camera, the input manager, and there's different cursors. I usually grab the default cursor. There's also a basic cursor you could grab. Um, but so that's what I do. I delete the original camera and then bring over, uh, bring over those three. Then I create a cube and a cylinder. The cube uh, placed in origin 000 and scaled it down to 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. And the cylinder, same thing, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2. And I just kind of shoved it up over the cube just a little bit. Okay. Now, the scripts, the question that I received was how do I go about hiding an object uh, using the hollow toolkit? So if somebody taps on an object, I want to hide it. How do I go about doing that? And so I just simply created this script called hide me. And you see here's just 10 lines of code. Um, and we're using the uh, hollow toolkits input module. Okay. And we're inheriting from the I input click handler. It only has uh, one method, so we implemented that method, and that's the own input clicked method. And inside of here, we're saying, hey, whatever whatever game object this script is associated to, I'm going to set that active to false. So I'm basically going to deactivate it. Okay, so that's the same thing as over here in the cube as unchecking that box, which of course will make it disappear. And but that also means that any scripts that you have on here will not activate. So if you had some other way that you're trying to bring this cube back, if it's on the cube itself, uh, then doing it this way is not the best is not the best choice. Uh, but this was one of the uh, one of the ways that uh, that was asked. So what we're doing here is simply deactivating it by tapping on it here. Uh, but then just to show how you would bring it back through a different uh, script. I brought in the cylinder, and the cylinder has a show all script. Okay, so we can take a look at him, and he also uses the Hollow Toolkit's input module, and he inherits from I input handler, which is different than the I put, I input click handler. Okay, but the I input handler, um, it's two. We implemented that interface. It has two methods: on input down and on input up. And inside of on input up, I'm saying, hey, I want to go through a list of game objects. And so for each game object, I'm going to set it to active. So I'm going to, if it's if it's deactive, I'm going to set it to active. And so in order to have that, I just had a public list of game objects. Okay. So if we go back over here to our cylinder, we'll see uh, that we have a list of game objects. And I'm come here and just say zero because you know when you first add in the script, that's what it would be. Uh, but then I could select however many different objects that I want in my scene and then drag them over here to my game objects. Okay. So uh, just to show how this works, we'll save the scene and the project and we'll run it. And I'm going to back up because again, these things were placed at origin, same place that the camera was. So I just backed up the camera some and if I hold down my left shift key, because I have my input manager um, and my hollow um, hall lens camera, uh, both in here and hold down my uh, shift key, and move around, uh, move my cursor around here. It's kind of like a mouse pointer, if you will, and then tap. And when I tapped it, it made the cube disappear. And likewise, I come here to a cylinder and tap that, and it makes the cylinder come back. Okay. And again, the code here for hide me, uh, you can pause if you, if you need it. 
Uh, but the code here for the hide me is is inheriting from I input click handler where we're deactivating the object by calling game object dot set active passing them false as a boolean saying that we're we're not going to uh, we're going to deactivate it and then on the show all we're going to loop through all the objects that we have in our list on the input up I could have done on input down but I just figured to do it on input up and just kind of showing two different ways that you can use the uh, input manager uh, to interact with uh, air taps from the hollow toolkit but anyway inside of here we're just simply setting active all the game objects that are associated to it so we have a, a reference to the game object because we have a list here that's been added to our uh, cylinder of the ones that we care about in which case here it's just a cube and that's what we're going to uh, that's what we're going to display so hopefully this is beneficial it was a very specific question, so it has a very specific answer. Uh, however, I'm thinking about doing uh, some more tutorials here on uh, YouTube. And if that's something you're interested in, let me know. Leave me a comment and let me know. Also, feel free to like uh, the video. And definitely uh, subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified as I uh, create uh, these videos on the HoloLens. I do them every single Wednesday. So every Wednesday, I have another video that comes out. And most often, uh, just about every single one is around Hall Lens development. So if you like that, by all means, make sure you subscribe. And if you have a particular tutorial in mind, let me know. All right, hope you have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next video.